welcome to Dee and Dory. Hey, welcome back. We hope you had a wonderful week and um, are enjoying the spring weather that we're yeah, yeah, so much better. Yeah, we ha we're having our April showers. And it smells like spring. You notice there's a difference between the rain in the, in the summer or the warmer weather than the rain when you get it through the winter. You, it just smells fresh and clean. Yes, I agree. Okay. <laughs> Today's a special video because it's our Fabricista makes. Yeah, our Fabricista edition. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. So, thank you, Fabric Mart. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Fabric Mart. Love the fabric. Yes. I, I had a few challenges with the make, but. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bought a new book, A Great Thought a Day. Oh, you did buy that? I did, yeah. Oh, okay. I was, we were it was a the, discount store. Yeah, and she had looked at it, and I, she was looking through it, and I was like, okay, decide whatever you want. And I was on my merry way someplace else. Well, it's 365 quotes to inspire you all year long. So I thought, well, this will last us a long time. Because <laughs> we only do one a month. Uh, one, one a week. <laughs> one a month. One a week, yeah. One a month would be nice, but anyway. <laughs> so, ready for the inspirational saying? Yes. Okay. Um, this is... A quote from Mark Twain. Yes, Mark Twain. Mark Twain. A familiar name. Yes, he's an American writer, humorist, entrepreneur, publisher, and lector. He's born in... Lecturer. 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 <laughs> Enunciation yes. is not our for, forte. forte. Yes. <laughs> for me, for lay, forte. <laughs> he was born in 1835 and died at age 74 in 1910. Oh, he lived a long time for that time frame. That's Seven, great. 74 years, yeah. Um, I didn't realize it was so long ago. Oh, that it was so long ago that he lived? Yeah. I didn't oh. realize he died in 1910 because, you know. In school, in we, school had we, learn, read, yeah. we had to read his yeah. books and stuff, which I loved. Huckleberry and and once again, I don't think I read any of his books. I don't know what did. How did could I you not? I, well, I did read a little bit, but not like. An entire book. Oh my goodness! What's it? What kind of? I but I read you know like Fahrenheit. Four fifty one. Yeah, four fifty one. That was, but that was when you were in the big public school. You didn't read that in the in, in grade, school. grade school. Yeah, when we were in the one room schoolhouse. So you must have had a different. We had the same teacher because we had because <laughs> the whole school had the same <laughs> yeah, teacher. Yeah, we had one teacher for all of us. Huh? I don't know. I don't but know. Anyway. Maybe I just blocked it all out too. Yeah, she that could doesn't be. remember. Anyway, here's his quote. Could Mark we? Twain quoted. Okay, what do you say? A man cannot be comfortable without his own approval. Oh, that is true. And oh, that has to do with self-esteem. It does. Oh, your own approval is your self-esteem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I'm pretty sure. And, and I liked this particular quote because I had tried some things with this make that I was not comfortable with. Yes. And so um, I, I didn't approve of it. And so you didn't see it. <laughs> But it made me think of this. A man cannot be comfortable without his own approval. If I don't approve or like the way it looks, I'm not comfortable in it. And here, and, and therefore, you... Here comes the philosophy. No, I was just thinking many people try to seek the approval of other people. Right. You really need to and, and be approved really, by yourself. You need to make sure you're comfortable with yourself and make decisions for you. Yeah. You know, as long as you're not harming other people. Right. And whatever. But you can't expect other people to give you the self-esteem that you need. You can only build that yourself. How does that sound? <laughs> Mark Twain would be proud of you. You think? Yeah. He had kind of like hair like um, um, Einstein, Einstein, didn't he? Uh-huh. They, their hair, at least those are the pictures I envision of him. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. see, and now this, I love this make, but you know, my scoliosis gets in the way. There we go. Well, why don't you tell us about your make? I'm oh, do kinda you? Kind of interested in it. Are you? Okay. Yes. Well, first, in this cute little cup. I, I, are you having an espresso? No. Oh. <laughs> I can barely do decaf coffee, let alone espresso. <laughs> Mine's cute, too, but mine's <laughs> quite bigger than hers. As, as normal, everything I have is bigger than hers. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> You are shorter than I am. Not anymore. Yes, I am. I found out I was an inch taller than I thought. Oh, okay. Then you're taller. Yeah. So I make up for it with what you have in height. <laughs> Just uh, at this time period. That's, you know, it's changed, it's changes. We change the year. on and off. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> okay, Both anyway, this yeah. is, um, um, <laughs> I first will show you the fabric. My fabric is a print chalet, um, and it's described as eggshell, pastel, pink, strawberry, no, straw, black, 100% rayon with vertical streaks and dots, print chalet, 54 inches yeah. wide. This is, uh, it's it's a really a nice flowy. It's very pretty. And this is it. I did not have too many scraps left. I like that this. you picked this kind of fabric. Well, well, the dress that I, I didn't make the dress that I originally was going to make. Um, so I, I, um, I needed did. something that could flow nice and not wasn't, had a, didn't right. have a lot of structure to it. Right. And um, it's very lightweight. So let me see, what else did they describe about this? Oh, this is my my shopping cart. Just a minute. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, very soft, thin hand, semi-sheer, plain weave, which is true. Is sheer? Well, they do, yeah, I don't know how they describe that. It has something to do with how you can see your hand behind it. Yeah, but you, like, they can't see that. Yeah, but see now, we can see it. We can see it, but, but you can't. Yeah. I suppose it's kind of, if you were in the sun, you'd wish you had a slip on. Oh, oh, I was corrected the other day. It's I not missed, slip? I got, yes, I got corrected. I oh. said slip, and they said, no, it's a shadow panel. I never heard of that. I shadow. didn't either. I said, oh. Is that new or is that old? Like, I, do, I do old not know. Term, or is that something brand new? I was Sh informed they're not called slips anymore. The shadow, shadow panel. Panel. So. Wow. Yeah. I was like, okay. And it really stuck. You know, I forget things. <laughs> but that really stuck in my mind. I said, okay, well, whatever it's called. I'll try to remember that. Yeah. Um, so, yes. Slip or shadow panel. Is you what, would need that, that if you were in the sun with this dress. Yes. Yeah. Not to be worn on a sunny day without anything underneath. <laughs> Whoa, that would be too much. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, so it is a woven, absolutely no stretch. The pattern and design is called abstract. And I really do love this design in it. This, yeah. That's crazy, but I love it. It's got a little bit of polka dots and you all are, kinds of... You are making little. progress here in the pattern department, in the fabric department. Yeah, see, but I don't like big flower stuff. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's pretty. I'm just not saying that I don't like it. Like it. I like it on other people. Oh, just not. Okay. Me. So anyway, uh, use top dress and skirt falls moderately away from the body. The weight is light. Um, and of course the design is vertical. Gentle wash. It laundered well. Pull it out of the dryer quickly because if it sits in there, it wrinkles. Oh, okay. You know. So, Catch um, it in time. You don't thank time. you Fabric Mart for, um, providing the fabric for this make. I, I do love the way it feels. It's perfect for the warmer weather and um, it just feels good on. So what I made was Simplicity 9265 and I made it with a few of, um, what do I want, adjustments of my own. Okay. Let's put it that way. All right. And I made a size small according to um, my measurements in the top, my bust measurement. measurement. Which view did you make? I made, I thought I made view, okay, here we go. I made view B, but with the sleeves from C, but actually, actually the sleeves on C, they don't even show the view. Oh, so see how the sleeves. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be a complicated question. <laughs> it is. Like view A, B, or C. <laughs> see, there's a ballooning of the sleeves from just above the elbow down. I made the sleeve to that point where you would add the ballooning. Oh, okay. And I hemmed it, and that's the length I and wanted. Yeah. The other one was too short. It was going to be like a cap sleeve, and I don't you particularly don't like those, care yeah. those. So, but I didn't want the ballooning, so I just made it that length. So that, you know, it doesn't show that in any of the styles or okay. any of the drawings, but that's what I did. All right. Now, something to note with this um, style also that I had made changes to, it calls for a seven inch zipper in the bodice in the back, and I did a keyhole opening. Oh, okay. I tried it um, on uh, basted, you know, to put it over my head, and it was just a little bit tight. I had sewed it up, and it was just a little tight. And I said, well, if I just put a little keyhole opening with some ties back there, it'll be fine. I did not want to, I was not in a mood to do anything Zippers have become so easy for me now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little 
feeling overwhelmed with just situations and I was like, I'm not going to deal with the zipper. I'm just going to put a keyhole in there. There you go. But I made my own ties and so it works fine for me. Uh, plus the tiers. I actually do have two tiers. Um, you can see here. Let's see. Yeah, see there. Can I see? Can you see? There we go. Up there. There's two tiers. And my, what I have on actually has the two tiers, but they have you, instead of putting the seams uh, for the tiers right sides together, they have you take and put a hem in the, the part of the tier that attaches to the bodice. And then you put it up over, so it would be the right side to the wrong side. So you have this little gathering, and you can see right here, this, this little ruffle here mm -hmm. is what you have. Mm -hmm. I, it, it looks nice. Very, very difficult for me to do. I just did not like doing it. I did not like the way it was sewing for me. And do you have a gathering foot? I have, I don't have a gathering foot. I have the, um, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> um, because I think that would make it easier for you if you had the gathering foot. Because it sews it into the gather and the gather is even. Yeah, but then how do you know the gather fits for the Yeah, that's the that's area? the thing I'm trying to figure out. I've done research and trying to figure out because I bought a gathering foot. Yeah. On sale. But I, it's like, well, it's three to one. Well, so I just got to oh, measure Oh, you have to do the ma mathematical yeah. equation. No, I don't think I have that. I'll look, but I don't think I do. Anyway, but that probably it, wasn't the issue anyway. Yeah, that wasn't the issue. <laughs> it was, well, actually what happened... And I probably should have used my walking foot in retrospect because as I was sewing, um, the um, pressure foot on the top was pushing the gathers away. So I probably should have lessened up the uh, tension oh. on that foot because it was pushing the gathers and I have to keep lifting it and then pushing the gathers on, you know, towards the needle and then put the pressure foot back down. It was just very frustrating. So the second tier, I didn't do that. I just put it, you know, right sides together, sewed it up with uh, some of the uh, gathering there. That's so, why I can't see the second tier though, because the second yeah. tier, you didn't do that too. Right, correct. I did not okay. do that too. I just sewed it like you do a regular seam and it turned out nice and that's okay with me. Yeah. I so just no, was like- People wouldn't know if you didn't tell them. Yeah. That was so, supposed to be. <laughs> and there's plenty of room and it, it's flowy, it's Funny. nice, and, and it is longer. I made the B length, which is shorter, supposed to be shorter, and it's, you, you've seen how long it was in my, oh, you will see how long <laughs> it is in my reveal. It's way down to my ankles, and I have an inch and a half hem in it already. So, um, that accommodated for that. So it was really not too difficult. This was easy to put in, the, the collar was really easy because it's just two pieces that you go from, you know, this oh, dot yeah. to that dot. Yeah. And it just sews in. And then you put the facing on. You put the collar on, and then the facing. The facing. Yeah. yeah. And it's got a little dart in it. It does. It has a little dart in it yeah. right there, mm -hmm. which, you know, I need to, I always need to, I should adjust them so, you know, get the girls up there a little higher, but they don't like to stay there. <laughs> Sorry, a little personal. TF, T -M TMI, 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 okay. So um, it's a lovely dress and it's not that difficult to do. And you can do a lot with the different views. You know, you could swap out whatever you want um, in the views to make it the way you want to. Um, so I, I think anybody with a little bit of sewing experience could make it. I don't think it was that difficult. Just be sure to buy the correct amount of fabric. I did make it in a small, uh, according to the sizing around the bust, then it says it would be a 30, no wait, that's, oh, where is it? Where is the finished bust? Yes, they have the finished bust as a 38, which is, ex which should fit me perfectly, but it's a little big. Yeah, a little big. It's a little bit big, so. Should we watch the review? You should, yes. All right, let's watch it.
cute dress. Thank you. I do too. I, I think I may hem it a little more, mm -hmm. not much, but just a little bit more because I don't really like my clothes dragging in the mud. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, if I had, if I could wear heels again, it would right? be just fine. But, yeah. you know, I'm going to be wearing it with a pair of sandals out and about. So, yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> especially when it's hot. Yeah. With my shadow panel. Next, next, next week, maybe. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, what did you make? What did you and make? And did you have any challenges? You're more adept sometimes than I am at sewing. Oh, well, I had a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> uh -oh. So the fabric that I have, this here, is a print floral, Lycra floral print jersey knit. Jersey knit. It's truly it's, a jersey it's knit. It's a rayon Lycra jersey Very knit. Very soft. Yeah. It does stretch. It grows. Mm, yes. So you have to keep that in mind. Like like you, you'll see my reveal how long it is. I'm going to have to hem it again, uh, make it a little shorter because it has stretched down. Yeah. So it's a, you know, it's got this crepe pink and shadow lavender, buttercup yellow, cobalt blue. Yeah. So, Very nice. Yeah. And uh, of course it's a floral print, four-way stretch, falls moderately close to the body. Gentle wash, washed up really nice. Did it? Yeah, good, really, good. really nice. Yeah. So I love the fabric. I thought it was, you know, lots of fun for this time of the year. Yes. And goes springy. It, take you right into summer. Mm -hmm. um, I have another dress I've made out of this sort of fabric uh -huh. that I wear all the time. Okay. So I knew that it would be something I'd love. For, right. It's perfect for summer. And I do have to wear a t-shirt. So let me try. I, it's Butterwick 5045. This is one that I got in the Facebook online group. And, um, yeah. <clears throat> I it's, think it's so cute in this. <laughs> it is cute. And I do think, well, go ahead. So, um, it's to me, I mean, look at how low it is. It's, it's, for, some people might wear it that low. Well, yeah, but it but was really, really low it for was your size. You made it low. according to your bust size, right? I, I or, did, yeah. yes. Yeah, and again, it was too big, way too big. Um, this is a large. I could have worn a medium easily in this. But what I, what I ended up having to do is put an extra dart up here because it came way down, mm -hmm. you know. And even now with that, it's still a little bit lower than what I feel comfortable right. in. Right. You know, so um, it's cute with the t-shirt. But I, yeah, I wear a little t-shirt under it, and that, that's cute. And um, so that was a good fix to put those darts in there to pull yes, that up a little yes. bit and without then, having to pull up well the back of it with the the um, straps. Yeah, and I, it's funny because I made view E, which on the front this is view E. Okay, on the back. View E has sash in the front and ties in the front, which I, I cut out the fabric for the sashes. Oh, did you? But what happened was in the middle of sewing, somehow I lost page two <laughs> and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I swore, I'm like, okay, I must have, when I was cleaning up all my tissue paper, just grabbed it and threw it away. Yeah. I'd already taken the garbage out. You never found it? No, I found it after I was all done. <laughs> oh, okay. So I had to finish it. With my own brain instead of their directions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I don't have the tie. Because I, I thought it would look cute with the tie sure, in the front. Sure, sure. But I didn't know. I had already sewed up the side seams before I realized I had the tie. I was, yeah. So the, I didn't have to make a bust adjustment because it also has bust starts. And yeah, that, that was perfectly fine. I didn't need to do that. Um, yeah. So the other thing was I thought, well, it would look really cute with this cover-up. And I had fabric to make that cover up. And I did. And you're not going to see it because it's ugly. <laughs> it just didn't look right. And there's just, it was just like too much fabric for too the much, fabric you. Yeah, the fabric the was the weight. wrong kind. It was too heavy for this. This needs a really light fabric. And I should have known to better. cover up. It's my own fault. Yeah. So um, I love the little pockets on it. And they're pleated. Uh, because this fabric does stretch, I probably should have raised the pockets up because now they're <laughs> way down low. Are they to your knees almost? They're, like, they're really down low. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, other than that, starting new fashion trend. It says it's fast and easy, and I thought it was pretty easy. It would have been easier if I had instructions. 
on page two. <laughs> yeah, I never. Then I would have known. And maybe with that tie, it would not have been so, I don't know, would that affect? No, it's not going to affect no. your tie. Okay. All right. No. I thought maybe it would. No. <laughs> but it was way too big. Uh, so I should have made the medium instead of the large, but I made it according to my bus size. Anyway, would you like to see the reveal on this? Oh, we never seen my reveal. This yes, time. we did. Did we? We just watched it. Okay. <laughs> sure. Go ahead. Okay, let's watch my reveal. Good save. Yeah. <laughs> really, that's what it was. You saved it. Yeah. Yeah. So. I do love this kind of fabric for the summertime. I, you know, I've, yeah. I've gotten it before from Fabric Mart. I've made bibs out of it and I've made a jumper out of it. So it is, is, it is a fabric that I like to wear in the summer. Nice and cool and comfortable. And yeah. So <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> that's that. Yeah. And, and, you know, you, you learned by the topper, you know, now if you do a topper again, you've learned, no, I can't have something with that type of weight on it. Yeah. It just doesn't work. And see, it says right here, lightweight crepe and lightweight broadcloth. For for the topper? Yeah. So I thought that was kind of like a broadcloth, but I, uh, it must not have been lightweight. <laughs> it's not heavy, but it's kind of like a medium weight and it's just too much for that. Cover top. up? Top, tunic, and dress. Oh, yeah. It does. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's kind of... Um, Deceiving. It is. It might be good for the pants, because it says, you know, that's Oh, awesome. yeah, for the pants. Yeah, yeah, because they group it all together. They're saying that you can use the same type of fabric, which they do show in the picture, for everything. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't think that's... True. Yeah, <laughs> true. It didn't quite work for you. Yeah, yeah. So that's our fabric to mix, and yes, and what we have the same. Are we going to talk about the same again? We usually do. You got something else you're going to say? No, you can talk oh. about the same. I just this <laughs> just, is my reminder because I never remember what, what I'm supposed to. Well, say. she's taking notes now. <laughs> if I can remember where the notes. So are. don't forget, a man <laughs> cannot be comfortable without his own approval. So yes. says Mark Twain. So you need to get comfortable with your own decisions. And, comfortable uh, in your own skin and you're yeah that's exactly actually i thought that and i didn't say it so look at that tell tell a telepathic but no no <laughs> <laughs> thankfully <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yes your so, self-esteem yes you are yeah you are a strong person and you're good so thank so. you for watching thank you for watching happy sewing enjoy your week happy spring enjoy the beautiful spring weather hopefully you're not where all the storms are yeah, and this time of year, tornadoes. Yes. Our hearts go out to you guys. Yeah, yeah. could be us too. Next, you never know. It's always. You just yeah, don't I think know we actually weather. have a, a risk today in the evening after six. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. It's that time of year. <laughs> yeah. All right. So forward us if you like us, and then like us. Those thumbs up are important. That's a like. See, this is my. <laughs> Subscribe and please comment. We enjoy your comments and, and enjoy hearing what your sewing projects are. And um, what else? <laughs> and sewing until next week. Yes. All Goodbye. right. Bye-bye. Happy sewing. <laughs>